NASCAR finally went to Iowa, so what track should they go to next? Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. NASCAR finally made its triumphant appearance at Iowa Speedway, at least for the Cup Series. Of course, the truck and Xfinity Series had raced there before, but then went on hiatus from 2019 up until now. And now in 2024, the Cup Series makes its debut at Iowa Speedway, and it was a fantastic race, right? Uh, track estimates around 50,000 people were there, absolutely packed out, sold out. It looked fantastic on TV, and it put on a very good race on top of that. So now the question is, what other tracks should NASCAR consider going to or potentially going back to? I think there's a list of, of tracks that we can go through here, and I'll name a few off that I have in mind that I think would be interesting to see the Cup Series go to. Right off the bat, I know everybody's going to say the Nashville Fairgrounds, and SMI has been working on trying to uh, revitalize, restore, and, and um, grow the Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway into something that can host a NASCAR Cup Series race. Obviously, they faced a ton of pushback from Nashville, Nashville City council there is nothing nobody takes their job more seriously than your medium-sized city city council those people absolutely love the little bit of power that they have and this is a perfect situation of that i mean this timeline is drawn out so long it's starting to make the big dig look like uh, it was done in a reasonable amount of time i'm not sure right now if the you know revitalization of the nashville fairgrounds is i don't think the juice is worth the squeeze at this point right it's been a two and a half year process and they're no closer to start starting work uh, on building out that racetrack to host the Cup Series than they were really two and a half years ago. Sure, they've had some meetings. Sure, some renderings have been put out there. But at the end of the day, uh, we are still very much not close to racing or having a Cup Series race there. But people want to go back there, so maybe that's on the list. Another one that will absolutely be talked about on here is Rockingham. The famed one-mile D-shaped oval, which absolutely ate tires. The high banks, it, I mean, at the end of the day, Rockingham put on very good racing while it was there. The Cup Series hasn't been there in literally 20 years. 2004 was the last time that the NASCAR Cup Series uh, had a race at Rockingham. Of course, the trucks visited back in 2013, but since then, the track's been sitting kind of dormant. They did get some money from the COVID relief and uh, stimulus package to repave the racetrack. They have safer barriers there now. It could host a NASCAR Cup Series race. I just think that maybe that market in that area is just oversaturated right now with NASCAR dates. Of course, in that uh, North Carolina, Virginia, South Carolina, even you know, Eastern Tennessee portion right there, you have two ra races at Bristol, two races at Richmond, two races at Martinsville, two races at Charlotte, uh, North Wilkesboro, two races, Darlington. There's just a lot of races right now happening in that region, and I'm not sure they can really have another one there without somebody moving one of those dates around. Fans will absolutely say that Chicagoland should come back. Obviously, it's, what, 50 miles outside of downtown Chicago, and right now NASCAR's racing on the streets of Chicago, which I think is definitely better for the sport than racing at Chicagoland. Is the racing better? Well, we haven't really seen what the racing is in Chicago without it being, you know, wet in varying conditions. So we'll have to wait and see if this year, if it's not going to rain, since we're all under a heat dome at this point, maybe it won't rain. But Chicagoland with the Gen 7 car would, as the children like to say, cook. I think it would be absolutely fantastic. Again, it's pretty far outside, and right now NASCAR is doing something where they want to take the racing to the people, putting it in a downtown environment, an urban environment, and honestly, it's a good move, right? Joliet isn't necessarily into Chicago. It's hard to get people to maybe drive out there, but that track would be very good with the Gen 7 car. On the topic of intermediate tracks, I, 10 years ago, fans would have been like, get rid of all the intermediates, get us back to short tracks, this and that. I mean, not even 10 years ago, five years ago. They would have said just the same thing. Now... Fans are like, hey, maybe we should bring back Kentucky. And nobody wanted that. People, after they saw three races of Kentucky, they're like, go ahead and take off the schedule. We just can't take it anymore. Obviously, Kentucky's close to my heart. Uh, it was the closest racetrack to me when I was growing up. Watched a lot of races there. Saw David Gillen win in that one-off for Clay Andrews Racing. Saw the Cup Series races there, the traffic problems, everything that goes along with it. Having said all of that, the Gen 7 car, once again, would probably put on a pretty good race there. Obviously, it's a bit of a Frankenstein track now that SMI tried to do that weird reconfiguration with it like they did Texas and kind of ruined it, but it would probably be pretty good. I'm just saying 
maybe consider it. I think one track that would be pretty interesting to see it hold races if it was allowed to would be Pikes Peak International Raceway. It's a one mile D-shaped oval, obviously, uh, in Colorado. And that's a market that is definitely underserved. And I think it goes a long way to sort of what Brad Keselowski said, where he's like, I think a lot of times the sport maybe gets caught up in the flash of like a New York City or a Chicago or Los Angeles. He's like, maybe we should have races in the more rural areas where like our core fan base is. And I think that he's onto something there because Iowa was absolutely packed out. And I think a place like Pikes Peak again in an underserved area could really benefit from that i mean their closest races are kansas and las vegas or down to uh phoenix in the south it's not exactly a place that is you know has an abundance of racing now when the track did sell in 2006 there was a provision put in there that banned racing on the property now they've had had rally crosses races there in recent years as you know recent as a decade ago they were racing USAC silver crown there so maybe there's an opportunity to figure that out uh, down the line but it hasn't hosted a NASCAR race since 2005 when the uh, Bush series was there so maybe not but again that would really help serve a market that is kind of underserved as it stands at the moment Wisconsin I hear all of you people up in Wisconsin right now I get it you want to have Road America back or you want to put the Cup Series at the Milwaukee Mile the Milwaukee Mile, uh, fine. Do we need another New Hampshire? Not necessarily. We've got Gateway already, which is just its quarter size, bigger cousin. So I'm not necessarily sure we need to go to the Milwaukee Mile, although I get it. People would probably definitely show up for it. But you can go down to Chicago if you really want to, or now Iowa. It would be interesting potentially for a year or two to see how it d does. I guess we'll wait and see how IndyCar does with their return to the Milwaukee Mile. And if it goes well, NASCAR will probably swoop in and take those dates away from them, kind of like they're doing in Iowa right now. Road, uh, Road America. People absolutely love Road America. And don't get me wrong. I love Road America as a racetrack. I didn't necessarily love it for the Cup Series. I thought it was fine. I didn't think that it was this knockdown race that you we had to go back there for 10 years. But if people want to go... I'm fine with putting that on the schedule because people definitely showed up for it. But moving, obviously, that date went to the streets of Chicago. Again, Chicago serves a much bigger purpose from a marketing and fan standpoint than what Road America did. I, but I can see the argument for Road America. Now, our friends up in the Pacific Northwest will say, bring them out to Portland International Raceway, to the road course that the Xfinity Series has raced on for the last few years, and I am all for that. The fact that NASCAR, the Cup Series, does not visit the Pacific Northwest is absolutely bonkers to me. I get it. There's not an abundance of racetracks to go to up there. Evergreen is potentially one, but that would require a lot of infrastructure uh, to be done to it to host the Cup Series. Uh, Portland is another one. I'm not necessarily sure that it can hold a Cup Series race as it stands, but if you brought in enough temporary seating maybe you could possibly have that there because the fans would absolutely show up i know there's going to be comments being like we don't want to go to portland it's a hellhole this and that and whatnot there's a whole other side of oregon and washington and even northern california that would absolutely show up for a race in that portion of the country and they've been underserved for literal decades at this point so having a race in the pacific northwest makes all the sense in the world so let me know in the comments where you would like to see the NASCAR Cup Series go. I saw people mention Texas World Speedway. Just build it back. Knock down the homes that they built there and just put the speedway back. Bring back Fontana, which obviously it, it already has you know come and gone and it will now be warehouses at this point. But I'd like to hear where everybody else would like to see the NASCAR Cup Series go uh, as it stands. It has to be a racetrack that exists right now. Obviously, we can do a city's uh, street race one. Maybe we'll do that in the future. But right now racetracks that exist. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.